as much as I love my Traxxas Summit, there are some things I would want to change. And in this video we are going to talk about just that. First of all, let's get the car. So, since this is my official review of the car, I want to conclude this on three things. Price, reliability and fun. And uh, considering it's an RC car, this is in my opinion the three most important topics. And of course we are going to go through more than that, but that to start with. So, obviously, first thing on our list, price. Uh, yeah, what to say. This is not the cheapest thing on earth, okay? Yeah. Uh, I bought mine for 429 euros and that was on a ridiculous sale. So, you can expect to pay at least 500 bucks for this. Uh, no joke. 500 bucks. And here comes the most ridiculous part. You spend 500 bucks and no batteries are included. You have to supply them from your own. Uh, so that certainly adds up to it as well. So about 600 bucks and you're good to go. Very expensive. But I think it's worth it. Okay? Because I had so much fun with this truck. Even though it costs a lot, um, it's definitely worth it in the, in the end. So, now we have checked price. Actually, let's put a check mark right there. Price. Now we can go over to reliability, which is obviously our next contender on the list. Um, when it comes to reliability, I have to give it to them. I have to give it to Traxxas. This thing is really durable. I have done a lot of stuff with it. For example, pulling myself in a sled for one kilometer non-stop. Yeah, that's just the beginning. So, as you hear, it's quite durable, it's quite reliable. With that said, I have broken a few parts. So, as you can see here, this micro servo is disconnected from the system. And oh wait, so is this one, and this one. Yeah, that's right. I have broken all my micro servos. To not talk about these servos, which is Savox servos, not Traxxas servos. So I technically broke all the servos equipped on the car. Which is no surprise, since it's Traxxas servos and they use plastic gears and um, plastic gear snaps, obviously under load. So. Actually, it's no surprise, but still, I just want to mention it for you guys that doesn't know it already. You can expect to replace all of the servos if you want to have all the servos working. And uh, you can obviously see that I don't have all the servos working right now. I just have the steering servos working. Uh, and that's because uh, I don't have the extra time and money to spend on these little crappy servos. But I am a do-it-yourself boy, uh, kid, uh, whatever, so I will probably 3D print new gears for, for these servos and try them out, and that's probably a video coming soon. And uh, I have done some damage though, I have crashed into a pole in like maximum speed in high gear, so I bent this thing, I don't know who, how well you can see it, but it's definitely bent, uh, like really bent, and uh, so yeah, that's also a thing. That's all the carnage I, I have done, so overall, if you consider that I have driven it for probably 60 hours at least, non-stop since I bought it, it has held up quite well, if you have to ask me. I'm really happy with this car. Uh, so, let's switch over to fun. And when it comes to fun, that's where this car really starts to shine. It's a so special contraption between a crawler and a basher 
that you just can't find it anywhere else. It's a, such a special car. Uh, you have a switch, basically, that tells you whether you want to crawl or bash. And it's so easy to just swap. You, you, I mean, you can go out in the forest and think, oh, today I'm going to crawl over those rocks. And, and you find a rock that's perfect for jumping, but no. I want to jump instead. And you just flip that switch and you're done. Go jump, have a great time. And uh, in the end of the day, you maybe have a little bit low battery left and you want to spend it on something good. Flip the switch and go crawl. It's so easy and so nice. And that's where this car really starts to shine. And that's where I had to give it to them. And that's where I would go to say that this is the best RC car I have ever driven and probably the best RC car I will ever drive. You can choose whatever you want to do and it's up for it. And it's up for it good, really good. I don't really have anything negative to say. It's an awesome track and I love it and I will keep driving it forever. Oh, maybe not forever. Uh... And that officially wraps it up. So, if you liked my little kind of review-ish, try um, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, leave five dislikes so I get to know and comment what you didn't like so I can improve, improve to the next time. As always, have an awesome day. See you. Bye. Awesome truck, by the way. Buy it. You will not regret it.